If you follow my channel, then you've probably seen this cabinet that has the enclosures for my leopard gecko, laverne, and my corn snake pumpkin. I converted this cabinet into these enclosures about four years ago, and they've served their purpose just fine, but I've never been really happy with them. They definitely need improvement, especially the sliding doors. I made the doors with plexiglass, and over time they've gotten so scratched up. And they don't look good, and they're hard to open and close. And I've been saying that I'm going to fix them for the last two years, and I keep putting it off. And although you've seen both Laverne and Pumpkin on the channel, I don't show them nearly as much as I could because the scratched up doors make it hard to film them. And I don't know what possessed me to paint them this ugly yellow beige color. So today I finally decided that I can't put it off any longer. I'm going to give both of these enclosures new sliding glass doors and see what else I can do to make them look better. I've put both Laverne and Pumpkin into temporary safe homes. And this little setup for Pumpkin is really not a bad setup for a snake. It's too small for him, but he'll be okay in here for a day or so. But now it's time to get to work. I think one reason I've put off doing this project for so long is because I've never cut glass before. And to be honest, I'm a little bit intimidated by it. But I'm just going to have to go for it and hope that it comes out all right. But before I do that, I have to do a little bit of work removing the old doors and getting everything ready. This took a little bit of elbow grease, but it's easier to tear something down than it is to build something new. Once that was done, I used Gorilla Glue and attached new sliding door tracks. Then I removed everything out of the enclosures, removed all of the old substrate, and made a really big batch of fresh substrate. And I repainted the inside of these enclosures black. Before putting on the doors, I gave each enclosure a little bit of a makeover. Both of these enclosures are heated the same way with a deep heat projector over the warm end and a ceramic tile with a heat mat. And I kept the warm side of Laverne's enclosure mostly the same with the rocks forming a cave over her heat mat and several crevices to hide in. But the cool side is where I changed things up. I added a really nice hollow log that I found and built up a lot of substrate around it. I 
I put a lot of moss around that and tried to make something that will create a humidity gradient in the enclosure, as well as give her a more humid hide. And I'm really happy with how the whole thing turned out. And then I remodeled Pumpkin's environment. I added a really deep layer of substrate and Pumpkin's going to love burrowing into that. And I added another hollow log as well as some other pieces of wood. And I think this is a much more natural looking environment than what Pumpkin's had in the past. And it's going to give Pumpkin a lot of environmental enrichment. So everything's done and it's time to measure and cut the glass for the doors. And I didn't film cutting the glass, but what I learned is that cutting glass is hard. I broke several pieces of glass and had to make three different trips to Lowe's to get more. But eventually I was able to get it done. I'm so happy with the end result of all this work. The setups are much improved and Pumpkin and Laverne can explore something new and have new places to climb and hide and maybe new textures to feel. And the doors slide open and shut so easily and the glass is crystal clear. Of course it's not perfect, but what I really like most about DIY enclosures is that they're unique and no two of them are exactly alike. But the more important thing is, will Laverne and Pumpkin like it? So let's put them back in and see what they think.